Okay, guys, so we got this 04 BMW right here, and the issue is the horn doesn't work. Well, actually, I think the horn works, when, but they took the fuse out. They said, I guess, the horn just goes off nonstop. I can hear it click the relay. Oh, I heard the relay click. No, I don't hear it anymore. I wonder if a relay is stuck on. So we're going to uh, go get a diagram, then we'll go underneath and we'll look at it. Okay guys, so I got the diagram right here. You can see up here, got fuse 37 and 14. And I'm looking in here, uh, 37 and 14 are there. So I'm trying to figure out what fuse is missing. Well, 20 is missing. Let's see, what's 20 do? 20 uh, heated rear window, it looks like. Got this nice little cart card here. Does it feed anything else? Mm, I don't see 20 listed anywhere else. Uh, yeah, that looks like the only one that's missing. So. Uh, 2, 3, and 4 are not in there, but I didn't see 2, 3, or 4 on here. So I don't know what fuse was pulled to disable this horn. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to do some research or I'll have to call them and see. Because I got our diagram here and it doesn't show the horn using anything else. Uh, so that's where I'm at right now. Now we could check to see if we have power going to the horn. Now I know it did work before because the horn kept going off and I'd pulled a fuse but then the car wouldn't start because I pulled like it's either 37 or 14 and one of them I pulled the control side so I pulled 14 but 14 also feeds the clutch pedal which isn't on here and then the car wouldn't start. Oh right here clutch switch 14. So yeah, that was a bad one to pull. Um, that was a couple months ago, and then I would have thought they would have pulled 37, but 37 is still in there. Unless 37 is blown. We can pull... Where is 37? Is 37 a big one? Actually, 37 is not in there. Oh wait, oh I'm sorry, that's 37 they pulled. The numbers are above. Uh, I'm blind. So yeah, 37 is missing. What's 37? 37 is supposed to be a 15 amp. So let me go get a 15 amp real quick. Okay guys, so here's the issue with it. I remember now. So when you turn the key on, the horn goes off. So we got that fuse in there. See, it's in there. Okay, so watch this. Turn the key on, the horn goes off. So that was his issue. So if we pull fuse 14 right here, 14, it's right here. So we pull 14, watch this. Now it won't do it, I don't think. So there we go, see nothing. So, what does that tell us? That tells us right here that our issue is on this side of the circuit. So, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna pop this airbag off. And we're gonna see if we can disconnect the airbag and see if the horn stops going off. So we're gonna do that real quick. Because this might need a clock spring or maybe something being a convertible maybe the airbag got wet so that's where we're gonna go okay guys so the airbag is disconnected let's put the key in and see if our horn still goes off so the horn doesn't go off now let's see if we press. oh guys look how sensitive look how sensitive that is this side's not but this side is. It's like super sensitive. Huh. Is it touching somewhere? I'm gonna have to inspect this more and see if it's touching somewhere. Cause look how sensitive that is. Like, hey. So this has gotta be touching somewhere. So 
we'll have to uh, see why that's happening. Well, guys, I found our culprit. Look at the marks. You can kind of see them. Hopefully they show up better with the flashlight. See the marks right there where it was contacting. Um, I think this whole bracket's bent. Uh, look at that. There you go. Now they show up really good. I think this whole bracket's bent. Look at that. I'm going to go try to straighten it and see if that makes a difference. But I think we were contacting in spots that we weren't supposed to contact. But I think it's only supposed to contact on these metal pieces right here. And I think it was contacting on the bracket. But yeah, look how bent that is. Somebody probably pushed on the horn too hard. Okay, so I took the bracket over to the vise. We straightened it out. Now it's a lot straighter. I bet you this is going to work now. So I'll get this put back in, and then we'll try it. Okay guys, so I got it back together here. Um, I don't know if you can hear it clicking, but you can hear the relay clicking. I took the fuse out, and I just put some uh, WD-40 on here. I had to turn this uh, spring in. The spring pushed out down here. I didn't realize that at first. I thought the spring was for the airbag, but it's not for the airbag. And now look at that. So I'm going to get the airbag on here, and we should be good to go. Okay guys, so I got the horn back on. Look. It works fine now. Let's see if we can hit it and not go off. And you push on it. There we go. So I hope you guys like it. This was kind of interesting, I thought. See you later.